Hi kindergarten. I hope you're enjoying our online teaching. You had a good time last week. This week we're going to talk about shapes in math. My name is Miss Hauser and I teach kindergarten over at West Hazelton Elementary Middle School. Hi to all my chickadees from over there. The first thing we're going to do today is review our 2D shapes or our two-dimensional shapes. And this is important when we start to think about our 3D shapes so that we can tell the difference. So you can see that we have the yellow circle and the blue square, the red hexagon, the yellow rectangle, and the red triangle. So when we look at our shapes, our 2D shapes, we count their sides, their straight sides. So a triangle has one, two, three sides, and we count their vertices, or their points. The triangle has one, two, three vertices, three points. Our circle doesn't have any sides or vertices. It just goes around and around. But you'll notice that these shapes are flat. I can put them in between my hands, and nothing happens. They're just flat. I could hide them. Now when we come over here, we look at all of our 3D shapes. And I know a lot of you have sung that song, These Are the 3D Shapes. That I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. And they also include pyramid in that song, but we're not talking about those very much today. We're going to look first at the sphere. And a sphere is like a circle, but a sphere I can't hide in my hand. Because it is 3D, it goes around and around and around. I can't hide it. It is not flat. Some of the things that I see in my world that have spheres are the beads on this necklace, the berries that I used in a wreath, a ball, my Anson moon, and even the planets. Are shaped like spheres. This was created back before Pluto was deemed to not be a planet, so it's on there. If this was made 25 years ago. So these are spheres, and we see these in our real world. Now, we couldn't play basketball with a circle, could we? No, we couldn't play basketball with a circle. We would need a sphere, like this one, round and around. Let's look at our cylinders. Here we have a bunch of cylinders. Did you know that your pencils that we use at school, even the ones that you use at home, your crayons and most of your markers, are shaped like cylinders? They are. They are around on the sides, and they have a flat top and a flat bottom. Did you hear that meow? That was my pussycat. They've decided that they want to be in kindergarten too. Oh, here are my corks that I use for sink and float. And they are shaped like cylinders. See that flat top and flat bottom? And it goes around on its sides. The glue sticks that we use at school are cylinders. Ribbon that you see on a spool is cylinders. And there's one of my calming jars. That one's shaped like a cylinder. Here are some cubes. 
We call one of these a die. We call more than one dice. We use these when we're playing games. We use them to count. There's a Rubik's Cube that we can change the sides and try and get all of the colors on one side. There are some cubes that I use for my centers at school. My boys and girls will recognize those from our rolling graph and our Unifix cubes in the back that we count with and we count syllables and sounds. We use all of these things all the time. The last 3D shape that we're going to talk about today is the cone. My favorite cone, I think, would probably be the ice cream cone. Now, this sort of looks like a triangle, doesn't it? But if it was a flat 2D triangle, where would I put my ice cream? I wouldn't have anywhere to put my ice cream. So we need the 3D cone. Cones also look like birthday hats. And our funnel, and that's my Albert. He thinks cones are really nice. He would like to wear a birthday hat. Look there in the back. That's a plunger. Sometimes we use this in the bathroom. Now this one is brand new. I didn't take it out of my bathroom. It is brand new because I use them for crafting. But these are our 3D shapes. Oh, we should talk about the cone more. Look at that flat bottom or top, depending on which way you hold it. Flat on the bottom or flat on the top. And then it's around like the cylinder and the sphere. The, the cube has all flat faces. Notice they have sides and vertices as well, just like our square did. But it has more. The cube has six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and one on the bottom is six. Each one of those faces has five, four sides and four vertices. Each one of those faces. And that's important when we talk about our next subject with 3D shapes, which is stack, slide, and roll. So I'm going to take a break here, and we're going to listen to the stack, slide, and roll song, and then we'll come right back. See you in a minute. <laughs> Stack, slide, or roll, stack, slide, or roll, 3D shapes, they can stack, slide, or roll, rectangular prisms, they can stack and slide, but they can't roll, no, 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 cubes can stack and slide, but they can't roll, no, 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 spheres don't stack, Shapes on top of it. 
welcome back. Did you like that song? I sing it all the time. Stack, slide, and roll. Stack, slide, and roll. Let's see. What kinds of shapes can stack and what kinds of shapes can slide and which kinds can roll? Well, first we have to know how each of those things works. What does it mean to stack? Well, to stack something is to put things on top of each other. We can stack blocks, like these cubes, because of their flat faces. I can put these cubes up here, and I could keep going as high as I wanted to because there's a flat face on the top and on the bottom. What else do you think we could stack? Hmm. Do you think that we could stack cylinders? We can, sometimes. We can stack cylinders if we put their flat bottom on another flat top. I could even put this one up here. And they are stacked. But if I turn this cylinder on its side, I can't stack with it because it rolls right off. Hmm. I guess we'll have to figure that out later. Let's look at the sphere. Do you think you can stack with the sphere? Does it have a flat face on the top or on the bottom? No, it sure doesn't. If I try to take this sphere and put it on top of this cylinder, oh no, it falls right off. So a cylinder, a sphere cannot stack because it does not have any flat faces. Now we didn't look at our cone and stacking, did we? Do you think that a cone can stack? You're right, it can, but like the cylinder, only when it's facing this way. Why is that? Why can't a cone stack this way? You're right, because it's not flat on that part, is it? It's a point. But it is flat here. So if I wanted to, I could bring it over on top of my cubes and stack it that way. So that's stacking. But what's sliding? What does it mean to slide? How many of you like to go down the slides at the playground? Your legs carry you down that flat slide. They make it easy, but what happens if you put your feet up? Do you slide or do you get stuck? I get stuck. So once again, for something to slide, it needs to have a flat face, either on the top or the bottom. So let's look and let's get the sphere off the floor. Will it slide? Nope. It does not have that flat face anywhere. What about our cylinder? Can it slide? It sure can. Back and forth, either on that end or that end. It slides back and forth. So a cylinder can stack and slide. Let's look at those cubes. 
What do you think? What is your hypothesis? What is your guess? Can a cube slide? If you hypothesize that a cube can slide, you are right. With all those flat faces all around, it is very easy for a cube to slide. So like the cylinder, a cube can stack and slide. Now here we are again with our friend the cone. And we said that the cone cannot stack this way. So if it cannot stack that way, it cannot slide that way. But, turned over, it can slide back and forth. A cone can stack and slide when it's in this position. Do you remember what we needed to look for last? Stack, slide, and... You're right. We need to see which ones of these can roll. Where would you like to start? Should we go back to the beginning and look at the sphere? That's what we'll do. Now to be able to roll, what does a 3D object need to be? It needs to be round, doesn't it? On at least part. So what is your guess? What is your hypothesis? Can the sphere roll? You bet it can. That's what it does best. It cannot stack. It cannot slide. But it can roll all around. How about the cylinder? 